everybody, it's me again. Today I'm going to do what they call a colander pour, but I'm going to use this little dish drain strainer I got from Dollar General for a dollar. Once again, one of my pre-painted canvases. On this, you want to have this lifted up off of your mats because your paints roll over on this. I got these little food container things that I never can find anything to use them for, but they're four for a dollar at Dollar General as well. And then I got my mats, of course. I'm going to pour my paints into this measuring cup. Um, today I'm going to use a lime green, that metallic blue sapphire. This is called phthalo green. This is the color shifting paint, the green that iridescent metallic gold and a light blue kind of seafoam green color. Alright, so when I lay my paints into my cup, I like to come down the side of it to keep the paints from muddying. So I'll pour, pour my paints in like that from the side. Not really, I guess, try to do some kind of order to it. That's your phthalo green. You see how it layers in there, less chance of it getting muddy. Do some gold. Probably gonna do a couple of layers of these because you're gonna have to have a good bit of paint. I don't want to have to tilt it to stretch it too much. I want it to kind of just go over by itself so I don't lose my lines. This will create really pretty lines. It was almost like a, a medallion in a way. I'm gonna start over now. My green, the lime green, back to my phthalo green. my gold my metallic blue sapphire the color shifting green so with me having the metallic blue the metallic gold and then this color shifting you're going to get some pretty good shimmer out of this I'm going to do one more layer just for good measure to make sure that I have enough paint. I'm sure I will. I won't have, shouldn't have to stretch too much. These colors too are less likely to muddy and what I mean by muddying means they mix and they just kind of create mud looks not very attractive because these colors shouldn't muddy like that because they're complementary colors meaning they're close to each other on the color wheel and all that kind of stuff okay so there's my paint let's see I always pour from the outside if you're doing a big colander but because this is little it Kind of just pours in there completely all together, it doesn't matter. Some pretty green coming out now. Ooh, it's gonna be pretty. Because I had that silicone in there. It pretty much is already creating cells by itself. Let's get inside my cup. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to let this sit for a moment. Let it just flow like it's going to flow. Take a 
take this out. Put it over there. Let it finish dripping. All right, so there you go. I have a little bit of tilting to do. You want to do this slow because you don't want to lose your lines and stuff. Move the weight of your paint back to the center. Come back to this side. Now don't worry about going over the corners too much because, like I told you before, you can kind of finger pop it. Anything that doesn't cover on your edges. I know that looks like a lot of paint to lose right here on this right here. But like I said, I leave it. I let it dry. My husband uses them for skins, for his drones. and You can make jewelry out of it. All kind of stuff that I've heard people are doing with it. <clears throat> really cool. I'll let you know too. These paints Especially if you're using black in your painting they're pretty pigmented and they get under your fingernails all that I can't see what the okay, there we go they get they're really pigmented they get under your fingernails and it's hard to get out I think I want to stretch this a little bit more so you can use gloves me, I personally, I like to just use my hands because I like the feeling it. I've tried to use the gloves and to me it just, I, it feels like I have no sense of touch with it. Just recentering this, stretching it back down to the bottom. I want to bring it back to the center. Pretty cool. Pretty. I like it. I'm using a new phone today because apparently I have too much on my other phone and I'm out of memory. This is a little bitty, I guess you'd call it like a burner phone that we had laying around that we don't use anymore. And hopefully... The volume and the color and everything is still good. Let me wash my hands. And so this is probably going to be a test run. I'm not sure how this quality of this camera is. I'm going to take this off and take it down and give you a close up. Me. Oh. Can you see? Ooh, shadow. So, all of those multicolored cells came out on their own. I have not torched this. This is not good quality. Alright, guys. Well, with that being said, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Like. Hit the notification bell. Share on Facebook. Alrighty, have a good one.